This is a, this is a rare thing to say because I can't say this to that many people. But you've actually hosted the Tonight Show before. That's right, back in the dark ages in 2003. Do you remember that? At <laughs> 2003. All? Oh, Just, please. So Jay Leno and I switched places. I was anchoring the Today Show. And we came up with this idea that we were going to do this job swap. So there's me at at the desk in yeah. L.A. and Jay Leno did the Today Show. From New York? Or from yes, he did it from New York. How fun was that? Yeah. Do you, what do you remember about it? Was well, it's, it's really hard. This job is really hard, Jimmy. Thank you. Thank you so <laughs> much. Really Thank fun. you. And, and I remember sitting around a big uh, circular table and all the guys were, they had all the jokes on, on uh, little file cards and oh, yeah. they'd read them and some would be like, that's really funny, but most of them were like, that's not really that funny. It's, it's tough. I mean, I, I trust it me, I, I read Not Funny every night. I mean, I, I'm very used to no, delivering. No, it's hard. It's really hard, but it was fun. Do you remember and any of the jokes at yeah, all? Yeah, well, yeah, I remember some. Some are totally inappropriate at this point, you yeah, know? Yeah, of course, yeah. yeah. One in particular about Willard Scott, which I won't get into. But one was really funny because I had done a colonoscopy a few years earlier on the Today Show to raise awareness about Absolutely. colon cancer screening. And... Jay was interviewing Colin Powell, who at the time I think was Secretary of State. I see so where you're you, going you with this. No, it's great. This. No, I'm excited so about this. So I said something about, oh, Jay interview. You know, did anyone see the Today Show? Jay Leno filled in for me, and he did an interview, a great, really great interview with Colin Powell. And I said, but probing colons, I thought that was my job. Yeah. There you go. Come on. Thank you. That's what I'm talking about. You get a rim shot yeah. there. That's, that's comedy. That's comedy right there. <laughs> uh, you have a podcast now. Yeah. You're doing are you My podcast that? with Amy Schumer drops tomorrow. I mean, come on. And man. you know, she and I have this weird personal history. You do? Yeah, she came on the show and talked about when she took my cell phone that's and right. text messaged my husband something super dirty. That's right. That's right. That's really you funny. That? That's right. Yeah, it's very funny. Do you, do you want? I want. She t texted him that she said, Can, "Am I allowed to say this?" Well, I don't know. She's if allowed you, to say it. You're she not. She said. So she sent my husband a text that said, um, from uh, ostensibly from me saying, I, "I'd like to have anal tonight." <laughs> and I, and it was so embarrassing. We may have to cut this out. We'll cut and it so out. I, but it's it's so. And I said. So I she, said grabbed, it, she grabbed your phone and did that. She grabbed my phone. <laughs> and she then started using it in her comedy act. And she, it, it was so infuriating. And I said, Amy, you forgot to, to tell everybody what my husband wrote back, which was, again? <laughs> <laughs> so you don't have to use that. Uh, uh, I want to know. Uh, <laughs> it, it, it. The podcast uh, drops tomorrow. Yes, yeah. Then, then you're doing something for uh, Nat Geo. I'm doing a six-hour documentary series for National Geographic Channel. So I've been traveling all over the country talking about some of the big thorny issues that are really dividing us to hopefully kind of help people understand different perspectives because that just doesn't happen anymore, Jimmy. Yeah, but you're so good at this stuff. Do you remember, like, when you first started and you weren't good at this oh, stuff? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I yeah. Mean, was there ever a time where... Oh, yes, there was a time. When I, was, I, I started out when I was 22, and I, I actually went to CNN before CNN was even CNN, when they called it Chicken Noodle News, when everybody in, on the planet could, could be on air. And so the bureau chief decided to give me a chance because he knew I really wanted to be a reporter. Yeah. And I was scrappy and always asking to do assignments. And he said, you know what, Katie? Do, go to the White House and say what the president is doing that day. Go in the morning. And so I was so excited. I was up all night, you know, talking into my hairbrush. And I got to work, and I went there. And during the commercial, this anchor team, I heard the man say to the, uh, an the man say to the female, oh, there was female anchor woman say to the man, male anchor man, Duh. He, she said, who is that? She looks like she's about 12 years old. And I was like, wah, wah. And then I got on. I was like, today the president has a meeting with national security advisors, the big new Brzezinski. And the head of CNN called the assignment desk and said, I never want to see her on the air again. Unbelievable. <laughs> oh, my gosh. But now I like the aw. Yeah, because we love you. I mean, look at well, you now. You. Come on. You're yeah, crushing. Yeah, with your Katie Kerr. <laughs> On and on and on. Uh, I said. And it's on and on and on.